I, uh, I love going to thrift stores and I'm always just buying frames and you know, just that kind of stuff, second hand and printing and, and just throwing photos around because I carry a camera every day. So I've got just, you know, a ton of photos outside of weddings. Um, but just kind of always framing photos for my office or the home or whatever. And I, I came up with something or I found something that I wanted to share with you. Uh, so anyways, I got this little frame here and it was just a, a postcard was framed in it, which is cool. Put one of my own pictures in. Um, but anyways, uh, so when I was taking this uh, mat out with the postcard, I had noticed a little bit of fading on the ink and I wanted to share with you all uh, what this is because in the wedding album video, I talked about archival inks and how anything that you order from uh, your, your website or albums and like that kind of stuff, it all needs to be archival ink. And what that means is, I don't know if you can see right here, yeah. The color shift, you see this green border out here, and then like in here it's kind of like blues. Um, so what that literally was, is it was sitting in this frame, bam, kind of like that, for years and years and years probably, just sitting by somebody's window, maybe it had direct light on it. Um, that kind of stuff is really hard on cheaply printed uh, postcards and that sort of thing. And over time, prints will fade if they're not printed on um, archival quality inks. And that's, that's why I stress so much through all of my print labs for, uh, for wall art or, or just individual prints or albums. Like it's so important to have that high quality print so that, you know, in 50 years, your grandkids looking at your wedding images, they don't look like something like this, which is just, just terrible. So, anyways, that's what Archival Inc. is. Hope you've learned something today. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.